Hello and welcome to WAC Newcomer of the Year, all WAC first team and all WAC Newcomer team, number zero, Milan Aqua. How does all the success make you feel? Um, very thankful. Just thankful for the opportunity to be able to play at, at Cal Baptist and um, the opportunity to be able to form brothers that um, I didn't have before. So it's just been a great opportunity for me and I look for success in, in, in years to come. It's awesome. Now we see the Milan now, we see the man who's scoring almost 20 points per game, dominating on the court. But let's all go all the way back to where you started. When did you start playing basketball? Uh, my first time playing organized basketball was probably five years old. I played in the YMCA. My mom put me in, um, in Bakersfield, so. All started back in Bakersfield. Yeah. <laughs> so growing up, who were your favorite players? Uh, by far Kobe Bryant. Um, I tried to model my game after his when I was younger. Um, we just don't say, play the same position, so I mean, it's hard to do that, but definitely um, just his mindset and, and how he approached the game, I, I, I'd have to say Kobe for sure. I love that answer. I'm the biggest Kobe <laughs> fan ever. Um, so you mentioned that you tried to model your game after Kobe. Is there any other notable players that you try to model your game after? Um, I mean, I try to implement a lot of skills that a, a lot of different players have, but um, as far as mindset approaching the game, I would say Russell Westbrook um, comes out and gives his all every game, no matter what, and um, that's something I try to do every time I step on the floor because you never know when your last game is going to be. So, I mean, we see that a lot from you. I mean, just one of, one of the last home games here, you crossed a guy, you made him fall on the floor and drained a three right in his face and you pounded your chest and turned to the student section. I mean, just looking at that, I'm like, that's exactly what Russell Westbrook. And you wear number zero on your back right. too. Um, so we're gonna move in along to high school now. So you went to three different high schools, you played at two. Basketball's super chemistry driven game. No chemistry, I mean, no wins. Exactly. So how, how were you able to form that type of chemistry playing at a couple different high schools? Um, well, my freshman year, I, I, I went there um, due to some people that I knew um, that, that um, were at the school. So, I mean, I basically knew the team already. Um, and then I feel like once you're at a certain level and as far as um, your basketball IQ, you're, you're able to adapt to play with anybody. Um, and then if you're, you're a good enough player, you, you can make anybody around you better. So. That's something that I try to do, and that's something that I look to do um, <clears throat> playing at every school that I played at. So, and I feel like transferring that many times has helped me develop a, a, a leadership leadership mindset to, to be able to try to help guys get better wherever I go. Yeah, I mean, your stats prove it. I mean, a 2013 Max Prep Freshman All-American, all league honors as a sophomore, averaging 19.6 points as a junior. You're selected at Jordan camps and everything. So after high school's done, when did you make the decision to not come to CBU, but you originally committed to Washington State? So when did you make that decision? Um, I actually decided to, I actually committed to uh, Washington State my junior year. So I committed um, pretty early for the, the recruiting process as a, as a basketball player. Um, it was just, I, I just knew that I would go there and, and, and get time right away. So. Uh, it was just a decision that I made and, and my family made um, that just didn't turn out. But um, now I, I feel like I'm in a better place. So, I mean, you mentioned you committed kind of early, earlier than most players do. Were there any other notable schools that were trying to recruit you? Um, I mean, I, I, I couldn't really talk to a lot of schools due to the fact that I committed so early. So um, when you're, when you're uh, in the recruiting process and you commit, um, it's kind of hard to still get recruited if, if you're already committed. So, um, but a lot of schools were definitely talking to me, um, but I was already, my decision was already made, so. Yeah, and so, you know, you go to Washington State, things don't, you know, turn out, but how was your time at Washington State? Um, I think it was a great experience for me to be able to grow as a man um, and just develop uh, qualities that I, that I wouldn't have if I was at home and, and around my family, I feel like, um, I just, I was out there by myself, so I, I, I feel like I, it really helped me develop as a man and get through some things and, and learn how to fight through adversity on my own, which is something I really needed. So you inevitably, you know, chose to transfer to CBU. When did you make that decision? Honestly, it was after the first time I came on my visit. Um, it was in the summer of 
this last summer. Um, came on a visit, played with the guys, talked to coach, and, and I just felt at peace about being here. And the, the environment um, really showed me that it was a brotherhood that, that I feel like I could, I could help grow um, in the culture. Um, was great, so I, I, my decision was, was was made as soon as I came on my visit. Yeah, I mean, it's the same with me. The minute I visit here, yeah. I mean, of course, I wasn't playing basketball at that point, but um, when I came here, I, I fell in love with it. Definitely. So we're just going to do a little compare and contrast here from your, season, your first season in Washington State to here. So, you know, 4.9 points, 1.8 rebounds, 1.9 assists, 38.8% shooting, 26.3% three-point shooting, 30 games. Now we go to the Milan that we all know and love. You know, here at CBU, 19.2 points that leads the whack in scoring. 4.8 rebounds, 3.4 assists, 42.4% shooting, 38.5% three-point shooting in 30 games. You led the team in minutes, steals, assists, points, and the whack keeps track of 13 stat categories, and in nine of them, you ranked in the top 10. So what's the difference between the Milan that was at Washington State and the Milan that we all see here and love to cheer on at CBU? Um, well, I, I can't bash that that uh, community at Washington State, but I just feel like the environment um, gave me so much confidence. And, I, and just the work that I put in over the summer just allowed me to gain so much confidence coming into um, CBU. Um, and I just felt like I was, throughout the summer, I was just at peace knowing that as long as I put the work in, that God would allow things to uh, work out and, and um, my journey would be fulfilled. So <clears throat> I just feel like just being at peace and, and, and working is really all I can um, give the credit to, really. Yeah, that's, that's awesome. I mean, we've seen your work ethic just pay off. I mean, as I mentioned, the, the leading score in the WAC, and that's that's not an easy accomplishment. There are a lot of good players in the Western right. Athletic Conference. So, I mean, this is known all throughout campus. The, you know, our sports teams, their jump to Division One have just been historic all around. I mean, with you guys, the most wins by a first year transition team at 16, you have the top scoring offense in the WAC, the first in free throw percentage, fourth in field goal percentage. You guys made the most threes. You, you guys just had, just as a team, you, you guys were just bonded and you guys just played great. And it, I mean, it shows statistically and it showed just from the eye test. So you guys ended up finishing fifth in the WAC. Um, you guys played in the postseason, super close game, came down to the final buzzer. Mm -hmm. How did CBU, how did you guys have so much success in your first year? I would, I would give the credit to just the mindset that we had coming in. Um, our mindset that we set before the season started was be fearless when we made the jump. And I think that's what we did. We, we came with the fearless mindset that we could compete with anybody. Um, we knew we would go through adversity at times, which we did, um, but it's about how you respond. And, and I think we did a great job of doing that throughout the season. We still have a lot of, a lot of pushes we can make to, to get better. And I think that um, this spring and summer is really gonna help us to, to develop and, and make a big jump next year. Yeah, I mean, you guys, the last home stretch, you guys had a bunch of close games that could have gone anybody's way, which is the basketball bouncing one way. And it was just, I mean, everybody here at CBU, everybody knew the success you guys had. And you mentioned that it's because you guys are a brotherhood. So the locker room, I mean, what is it like? What's the atmosphere like in the locker room? I mean, everybody's, everybody's friendly with each other. Um, we treat everyone as a brother, honestly. and. Uh, we have everybody's back. Um, there's times where we, we uh, have to do tough conditioning drills, but at the end of the day, we know that it's all to bring us closer and all to reach one goal. So um, we just do everything knowing that we have a, a, a bigger goal ahead. So I think that's, that's really what um, builds our brotherhood and our culture here. Yeah, I mean, again, as I've mentioned a couple times, it, it showed on the court, you guys, are always, if somebody goes to the bench, everybody's standing up, everybody on the bench is up when something happens. People, when you dunk on somebody or when you cross up somebody, people are running through the tunnel, right. freaking <laughs> out and everything. It's just such a positive thing. And I mean, just for people to see that, that you guys are just such brothers is awesome. So towards the end of the season, I mean, you just started scoring on everybody. You were dropping minimum 20 on just every team. 
you know, at one, at one point you're averaging more points than Zion Williamson, which <laughs> is which is a pretty incredible thing. Right. But you know, teams didn't want you to score on them, so they'd start sending double teams at you. <laughs> I I'd catch the occasional triple team. Yeah. <laughs> People would send triple teams at you. What you have to change in your game just to get around that, but still score at an efficient rate. Um, that was definitely a huge adjustment for me throughout the season um, when teams started um, focus on me and, and their scout. Um, so it was something that I, I had to adjust. I, I had to make better reads and, and take more care of the ball so, I, so that I wouldn't turn it over when the double came. Um, I just had to find my teammates to make sure that they got the best shot or, or we got the best opportunity whenever we were on offense. And that's something that I, I still have to continue to grow and get better at. But um, it's definitely been a great experience and, and um, I couldn't have asked for anything else. I mean, we saw that you'd make you'd make a pass, somebody would be wide open, and that's why you guys have such a high shooting percentage. And it, it was just, you know, you being the star that you were just helped the team get so much better. So speaking of how great you are, I mean, the, you know, you're, you're, at, you're at a smaller school. You know, this isn't, you know, CBU, we're not on ESPN every right. night. We don't have, you know, we're not filling, we, the, the the event center is always packed, but it is a smaller school, and it's difficult to get NBA attention. I'm, I'm assuming the NBA is the end goal for you. Definitely, that's something I, I've wanted to do since I was a kid. It's always been my dream, and um, one day I'll be there, but not not sure when. I mean, some of the league's top players, you know, come from smaller schools. You got Paul George, Fresno State. You know, he's made he made an MVP, you know, kind of type season. Definitely. He probably won't win it because there's right, right. you've got Giannis and you've yeah, got Harden yeah. and and then Steph Curry of course two-time MVP three-time champion best shooter right. in the world he went to Davidson and you know you got people like Kawhi Leonard who used to play in the WAC yeah. he's one of the best two-way players so are you the next NBA small school great and what are you going to do to make yourself that um that's definitely the the end goal for me I not only want to get to the NBA, but I want to have a Hall of Fame NBA career. That's that's my been my dream. Um, that's what I work for every time I, I step on the floor. Um, and I just feel like as long as I continue to work and just allow God to lead me, um, there's nowhere don't, nowhere that I can't go. Honestly, um, I just feel like um, I work as hard as anybody else works in the game. So as as long as I continue to do that and trust God. I feel like his path will will be fulfilled for me. So I think everybody kind of had a little freak out here. The homecoming game at CBU, everybody's here. We're packed in the student section, and we look over there, and we see Lonzo Ball <laughs> sitting there. And we've seen him, you know, tweet at you and everything. What's that relationship with you and Lonzo, the Lakers point guard? Um, honestly, that's that's like my brother, to be honest. We, we've grown up together. I've known him since I was nine years old. And, um, we've always competed together, competed against each other. Um, so that, that's really like my brother, and I really cherish that relationship. Yeah, that's, I mean, it was, everybody's freaking out. They're on their phones. They're like, oh my gosh, Lonzo Ball's here. <laughs> yeah. And it was, I mean, it was, that's awesome. That you already have somebody in the NBA who can mentor you and everything. You guys, how you said, you're like brothers. And, right. and that's, that's something that every player should have. So finally, we're going to talk about the infamous half court shot <laughs> all right so down two against Oral Roberts they come down lay up they're up two all right you guys no timeout just go you hoist that shot up less than a second there's if that doesn't go in it's over right how did that feel to just see it go right in um it was definitely a great experience but it it was more so just being able to, to do it here and being able to do it with my brothers um Man, to be able to get our first win that way, um, that's something that I'll never forget, and I'll, I'll, I'll hold that close to me forever. So that was definitely a historic night for, for all of us, honestly. Oh, yeah. I mean, I love that, you know, in everything you do, you always bring it back to your teammates. It right. shows that, you know, we see star players, you know, they can get away from their teammates, but right. you are just so connected in that. I, I really enjoy that about you. You make yourself just such a great teammate. Appreciate it. So, I mean, people probably don't know that, but that was your first three of the game. Yeah. That was your first made three of the game. That was. And it was that the was. most important three right. of the right. game. So, I, throughout your career, I mean, we've seen you hit clutch shots here. 
are you known is you have that you know people call it a clutch gene but you know have you made a lot of big shots um i made a couple game winners in high school um but none bigger than the one that i made here but it's just um it's just from putting work in it doesn't really the time doesn't really matter for a basketball player if they work on that shot a million times so um as far as like pressure and stuff, I don't really, I don't really feel pressure because I know the work that I put in and I know how many times I've shot the shot and it's gone in. So as long as I do the right thing and, and use the same mechanics, I know, I feel like it's gonna go in every time I shoot it, so. So, Sports Center every night, they have their top 10, you know, best plays of the night. And so, at sitting at number one, Milana Qual from CBU, the first big thing that CBU had, just publicity wise, how was that to see that you are the top play on sports center there was pro sports going on that night there was basketball going on there was baseball going on how did it feel to just see you up there at number one um like i said it, it was a great experience the whole night um a lot of people reached out to me and congratulated me so it was definitely something that that <clears throat> i couldn't have dreamed about but i definitely think that it was a great experience and i i'll definitely hold that to me hold that close to me forever so that's something that, that that'll be hard to relive for oh, sure yeah. well we're gonna try to relive it now you think you could hit that shot again we'll see all let's, right let's try.